This problem is different than the rest. You notice that the bases are not the same. Therefore, we have to change them. This is the change of base rule, which basically states that if you have a logarithm with the base A of X, that's going to be exactly the same as the log base B. You could change the base to any base you want of X divided by the log base B. Make sure it's the same base as the top as your numerator of A. Okay, that's the change of base rule. Back to the problem. We're going to leave this first one alone, log base 3 of x. But this one, we're going to change the base by applying the formula. So it's going to be log, sorry, plus. It's going to be log base 3. Why did I switch it to base 3? Because the other term is in base 3. So log base 3 of x divided by log base 3 of 9. Okay, that's the change of base rule. And we know what the log base 3 of 9 is. That is, the, that is the exponent that will change 3 into 9, and that looks like 2. Okay? So now it just becomes a basic fraction problem. We got 1 log base 3 of x plus 1 log base 3 of x divided by 2. So we're going to multiply that by 2 and divide by 2, right? That's still the same value. But now they have the same denominator. We can go ahead and add them. And be careful here. A lot of people make this mistake, but, but this is simply 2 times some value plus the same value, right? So if that was, this whole thing was like the y, it would be 2y plus y, which is like 3y. But this is going to be 3 log base 3 of x. Bam. Almost done. So we need to get rid of that 2 legally. Uh, but this, this whole term here turns into three halves times that and one more step and we are done we're going to take this factor out and put it back into the exponent i'm sorry into the logarithm as an exponent and that is your answer that was a toughie hope this helped mgz out